Okay, so let's have a look at, at uh, connecting to the to the Wi-Fi kettle. So this is the kettle here, and normally what we have is uh, some buttons here. So we're going to connect the the kettle to the Wi-Fi access point. So this is the access point here. So it's on a, on a private uh, wireless network. So normally what we would do is that we would uh, configure it with our Android device. So the advantage of using the Android device is there's actually just a default uh, password of all zeros where the iPad gives us a random six digit password. Okay, so normally when we set it up, uh, we run the app, the iKettle app, that then connects to the Wi-Fi network it then asks us to connect to the the, the kettle Wi-Fi network. So we normally reset the kettle by pressing down the 65 degree button uh, for a few seconds, and then that will reset it, which will enable the iKettle network to be revealed. The uh, mobile device then configures the kettle uh, through that network to be able to connect to the Wi-Fi, which is here. So I've set up a Wi-Fi SSID of Bill, and then with inside the access point, I've set up a static mapping of the MAC address of the kettle to its IP address. Okay, so really that's that's how it's all uh, set up. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to connect to the kettle, hopefully, and then we will see actually if it's connected. So the first thing we'll do is we'll just uh, do a quick ping to connect to it. Okay, you can see it's alive. So the next thing we normally do is to be able to look at the services that are running on it. So we should find there are two ports open. One is port 23, which is Telnet, and the other is port 2000, which we can use to, to configure uh, the kettle. So the first one we'll connect to is port 2000, because we can send it some, some commands. So 192.168.0.22 on port 2000. And it will just take a little minute to, to connect to. So what we've got is uh, status messages and also action messages. So if we send set sys output and then a certain bit pattern, it'll be able, we'll be able to set up the the buttons on, on the kettle through Telnet on port 2000. There's our buttons there. The buttons. Okay, so hopefully we're now connected to the to the kettle. A little bit of a lag on the, the video there. So we can send a command such as get sys status and it sends back the status of the keys uh, that, that are set. So the first thing we'll do is we'll actually set the on button on. So if we can actually just move this up, hopefully we'll be able to see in real time the on button going on. Okay, just let's focus on the button. So what we want to do is set sys output This is zero X four. We'll switch it on. There it goes. The sys status zero X one hundred is the hundred degree button. So just let me set just let me switch it off now.
stroke it, just a little bit of a delay in the, uh, in the video coming through there. But you can see there that the uh, the button is was on 100 degrees centigrade, and that's the sys status 100 that we saw, and the 04 switched on, 0x0 switched it off. So we can actually set the other buttons. So set sys output 0x200 should give us the 65 degree button. Okay, and then what we can do is I'll just try to get the system status. Okay, so we'll go ahead and turn the kettle back on. So we'll give that another try. So set system status four, and then set set system output as to zero two hundred, and the zero three is temperature reached. So the status that came back there was the uh, uh, the zero zero x three, which that it has actually reached that that temperature. So that's why the why the kettle where the button didn't go on there. So what we'll do is we'll, we'll uh, try that again, and this time we'll go for 95 degrees. So set sys output, and this time 0, 02, 0, 04, and the 0, 05 is turned on. So the zero three that came through there is the is that that's just that's uh, got to the temperature that's required. Okay, so control square brackets gets us out, and then we can just quit. So the next thing we'll have a look at is the the telnet command. So the the kettle uses AT commands, which are a bit similar to to modem type commands that we used to be used in in the past. So we'll just get connected to the kettle using Telnet. Again, it just takes a little minute to connect. And it's one, two, three, four, five, six. And there we go. Okay, first thing we can see if it's alive, we can see how we'll kettle. Oops, not that that was for the other the other one we should have done that. For two thousand we can we can actually type uh, the hello kettle. So for this one we can type in some AT commands. So if we want to enable the web server on the kettle, we can use these commands, at plus pmtf, at plus z. Okay, so those, those are the three commands that we actually use. And then hopefully, when we go here, we should be able to get access to the web server and there 
server. Okay, so this is the web server for the kettle. See, this is the setup. So it's set up for there's the SSID and there's the encryption key that's used for the, for the SSID. And there's the port there that it's setting up for the for the server. These are some other details there. There's the channels that it's using, and then there's the serial port that we're seeing for the AT commands. That's how that's set up there. And here are the system ones. We can upgrade to the firmware from here. There's the MAC address that we saw earlier for it. Hardware version and, and and so on. Okay. So just let me let me go back to uh, to where we were. Let's see if we can get our, our connection back again, and uh, we'll just connect to port two thousand again. Download one and two, one six eight. And there's just a little bit of delay for that. Okay, so that's the that's the web server actually running on the on the device. There. Go back there. Okay, so we can give it a certain IP address if, if we need to. And we can make it connect to other networks. So what I didn't show earlier is that you can type in hello kettle here and it re replies back with hello app. Okay, so the first thing if you connect to port 2000 is to is to run that. Okay, and then there we are. So that's uh, that's really demonstrated the uh, the connection to the to the kettle. And it's there, and uh, it's been a nice cup of coffee.